against the backdrop of the ongoing fuel scarcity, the prices have skyrocketed as petrol is currently selling at N200 per litre in Lagos. More filling stations have joined the growing numbers of stations without the product while few who had product sell between N170 to N200 per litre with long queues. News correspondent who monitored fuel situation within Lagos Metropolis around 7 a.m. On Sunday reports that most stations at Akoradu, Ep, Imota, Ibjoleki and Ajab were seen selling petrol at N200 per litre. At Be Happy, Malo, Bravo, Domino, and Hikram filling stations situated at Akoradu was selling at N200 per litre while motorists were mandated to pay N50 as commission to the attendants before they sell to them. Mobile Oendo and total filling stations along Leki Ep Expressway were dispensing at N145 per litre but there were long queues while motorists were cited buying fuel from black market along the road. Some independent marketers filling stations branded with NNPC color were also selling at N170 per litre with their dispensing meter showing N143 per litre. Black market operators at Monsin My Depot were selling a 30 litre gallon at N6, 000 with interstate commercial and private motorists packed along the road to fill their tanks. Meanwhile, Mr. Ndu Agamedu, spokesman of the NNPC has said that the corporation has intensified efforts to flood the market with petrol. Agamedu said that six major marketers, Total, Forte Oil, Oendo PLC, Mrs. 11 PLC and Nipco PLC, are now loading products round the clock from their various depots in Lagos for onward trucking to all parts of the country. According to him, the supplies are mostly from cargoes of petrol imported to by NNPC which are daily berthing and immediately being made to discharge their products to stem the supply hiccups. The imported products are also being supplemented by supplies from the local refineries. NNPC assures Nigerians to remain calm and not to engage in panic buying as the end of the challenge is nigh. Marketers are strongly advised against hoarding as security agencies, working with industry regulators, would mete out appropriate sanctions to defaulters.